Thomas's Train Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed at him. You're too impatient, they said. You'll be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas crossly. You just wait. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. Now Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get the coaches ready. If Henry is ill, he thought, perhaps I shall pull his train. Thomas ran to find some coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, grumbled the coaches. He took the coaches to the platform and wanted to run around to the front at once, but his driver would not let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas, he said. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in, and the guard and the station master walked up and down the platform. The porter banged the doors, and still there was no Henry in sight. Thomas got more excited every minute. The fat director came out of his office to see what was the matter, and the guard and the station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. There's only Thomas, they said. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. So Thomas ran around to the front and backed down to the coaches and was ready to start. Don't be impatient, said his driver. Wait till everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. What happens next? No one really knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait till they were ready. Or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started. People shouted and waved at him, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine, he thought. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. As he passed the first signal box, he saw a man leaning out and waving and shouting. They're pleased to see me, he thought. They've never seen me pull a train before. It's nice for them to wave. And he whistled, peep, peep, thank you, and hurried on. But he came to a signal at danger. Bother, he thought. I must stop, and I was going so nicely, too. What a nuisance signals are. And he blew his whistle angrily, peep, peep. One of the signalmen ran up. Hello, Thomas, he said. What are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, he said proudly. Can't you see? Where are your coaches then? He looked back. Why, bless me, he said. If we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the signal man. You'd better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad that he nearly cried. Cheer up, said his driver. Let's go qu back quickly and try again. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fat controller what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, they saw how sad he was. They couldn't be cross. So they coupled him to the train, and this time he really pulled it. For a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, Look, there's Thomas, who wanted to pull a train but forgot about the coaches. For a long time afterwards, the other engines... <laughs>